So this is kind of a rant. I'm kind of new to Twitter. I started using it when I started this channel as a means of reaching people. One thing I keep seeing every day is people who are discouraging people for voting for Democrats and comparing Trump and Biden. Let me be very, 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 very clear. I don't like Biden. Biden voted for DOMA. Biden was against gay marriage most of my life. Biden saw Don't Ask, Don't Tell as a wonderful victory. Biden is against Medicare for All and has supported bank deregulation and all these horrific things I see as destroying our country. Biden is not Trump. Maybe I'm cynical, but I firmly believe Biden believes whatever is politically expedient. He was all about the Hyde Amendment and no federal funds paying for abortions until he ran for president and found out it didn't poll well. None of the policies that Pence and Trump support against our community, the LGBT community, poll well. None of them. And they poll terribly within the Democratic electorate. You can despise Biden or Harris or Pelosi and still realize they are not going to fight a battle that will result in them losing their seats. This is a fundamental fucking difference between Republicans and Democrats. Republicans do not believe we are equal or should be equal. This isn't debatable. I'm not saying if you believe in small government, you can't believe in LGBT rights. Or if you are libertarian, you can't su support equality. I am saying conservatives believe they have a right under the law and based on God to treat us unequally. I received pushback on Twitter for saying Republicans were trying to institute Jim Crow against LGBT people, but none of that pushback was based on fact. It was based on the idea that I was somehow co-opting Jim Crow. By all means, if you watch this and have another name for it, give it to me. They believe businesses shouldn't have to serve us and should be able to fire us for no reason other than we were born and be able to refuse us work for some reason, they believe doctors shouldn't have to treat us. They believe we should be jailed for things that are legal for cis persons who are heterosexual. They believe we should have to use separate bathrooms and can be denied the right to deny, uh, adopt children and receive services from nonprofits funded by the government. Their police harass us and jail us for taking actions necessary to survive. Trump joked, Pence believes we should all be hanged. They believe we are broken. And look, that is fine. Beliefs are beliefs. I can't change the way they think or feel, although God knows I wish I could. But they are legislating and ordering those beliefs into law and action. I made a video when a judge stopped health and human services from instituting a rule that would have allowed discrimination against trans persons that followed the major LGBT victory in Bostock, where Title VII was finally ruled to apply to LGBT communities. And the right was pissed when that occurred. Graham said the ruling that allowed us to not be fired for gender, gender or orientation erodes religious freedom. And then he followed up by saying businesses should be able to fire LGBT people for no reason other than they were LGBT. And that isn't some far right view. It is mainstream on that side of the aisle. Please go look at some of what Pence has said and done and the impact on our community. He famously said gay couples 
were a sign of societal collapse. That is the other side. It is beyond bigotry. This is America. Bigotry is going to exist. This is people trying to actively legislate bigotry. Check out my video on LGBT rights. We haven't won, but this is a war. One side Republicans overwhelmingly see us as subhuman and not worthy of the same rights as anyone else. The other side, Democrats, are not as progressive as we'd like. They don't offer us everything we need. We will have to fight that side. Democrats, for every bit of progress and reform we need, but that side starts with us as human now. It starts with them not attacking our humanity or right to survive. The other side, Republicans, literally have dozens of anti-LGBT bills they are trying to pass and a ton of policies they will use their executive powers as governors or as presidents to push. 60 sources confirmed Trump making that joke about how Pence wanted to hang all LGBT people. That is what this vote and battle is about. Fuck your absolutism. Fuck your Biden isn't perfect. I hate Biden, but Democrats don't believe people in my community should be hanged. Kamala and Biden won't be directing the Department of Education to remove protection for LGBT kids or telling the Department of Justice it is okay to discriminate against us. And they will challenge laws that attack us. Maybe it won't even be in good faith. But I don't care. If it is in good faith, it doesn't matter to me. If secretly Biden is homophobic or racist, what matters is the persecution of my people won't be politically expedient to him and it will stop. I'm going to end this where I began. If you are seriously thinking you could sit this out or vote third party or both sides are the same, you are privileged beyond belief. If you are sharing memes or constantly promoting apathy or a lack of participation in this election, you do so from privilege and at the risk of endangering all of us without your privilege and maybe even worse for you. If you have zero empathy for my community, you are doing the will of the Democratic Party and oligarchs and everyone else you claim to abjure. There are millions of more progressives voters than moderate or conservative voters. And this continuous assault on the importance of voting that you perpetuate is all that stands in the way of us controlling this nation and achieving every progressive goal that you claim you represent. Sanders didn't lose because Biden cheated or the DNC committed foul play. He lost because despite young voting age, people outnumbered older voters. We didn't believe in the system or show up. 70 million more of us than them, and we lost because you wanted to feel fucking superior without doing the work. I'm just sick of it. Stop your BS. Vote. Get your friends to vote. Pass around some memes showing what could happen if you did show up. And stop blaming everyone else for that apathy and failures that you spent all your time making happen.